The gloves are off. About <laughs> the gloves are off. I was just telling my child about this. Epic Games and Apple, man, they're just they're swinging. It used to be it used to be Apple versus Microsoft, but current year, it is Epic Games versus Apple, man. CEO Tim Sweeney has been very very vocal on Twitter and other outlets about how Apple has been abusing their monopoly on the mobile app store on iOS and the digital markets act is something we've been talking about uh here for a couple couple of stories and it just went into effect this past week um and uh, it allows multiple app stores to be ran from Apple's device without Apple banning them now <laughs> Apple <laughs> retaliated by banning the developer account from the store from the app store, from the iOS app store. So they could not do anything, even though they were allowed to get back on the store and do some stuff and do some things through the Apple ecosystem. They got banned. See, yeah, Tim Sweeney was like, uh-uh. So he, he just grabbed the bat phone. Hello, European Commission. It's me, Tim. Epic Games will be unable to open this iOS app store in the European Union. Oh, will be able to open this app store in the European Union, after all, the game publisher had his developer license revoked by Apple earlier this week. But Epic Games now says that Apple has reversed its decision following an inquiry from the European Commission. It's an update on the website. Epic Games says Apple has committed to European Commission that they will reinstate our developer account. And the company is now moving forward as planned to launch the Epic Game Store and bring Fortnite back to iOS in Europe. So... Tim Sweeney's bringing the Epic Game Store to iOS, but it's only going to be in Europe because of the, the Digital Market Act that passed over there in Europe. But currently in the U.S., you won't see this on iOS. Apple has also confirmed the decision in an email to The Verse, and following conversations with Epic, they have committed to follow the rules, including our Digital Market Act policies. This is an Apple spokesperson, Fred Sands. As a result, Epic Sweden... AB has been permitted to re-sign the developer agreement and accept it into the Apple developer program. And uh, yeah, the EC, the European Commission, is also taking credit for the reinstatement, saying that with satisfaction that following our contacts, Apple has decided to backtrack its decision on the Epic exclusion. Things are just getting ugly between these two, man. Like, this is, this is getting really... Really ugly. And again, a reminder, the DMA went to effect on Wednesday, which allows third-party app stores to be run. So the Epic Game Store will be on there. But it was kind of funny that Apple just banned Epic's account. So <laughs> they couldn't put their own games on there. Oh, man. You can continue to use third-party apps while outside the EU, but don't expect to be able to update them if you travel for too long. We talked about that story. If you need to, you can you know check out my channel and get that story about the whole grace period thing. If you, you if you leave the EU, you won't be able to access the app store, the third-party app stores, um, or update your apps if you're gone for too long. It's going to do some geocentric location tracking to make sure you're in the EU to do this. How that's going to all work out, I don't know how they're going to be able to enforce that because people are clever and they'll find ways around it. Much like with the Netflix stuff that people do for, for sharing accounts, people are finding ways around that, so... It'll probably happen here as well. Check the story out over on The Verge, man. Epic Games, Apple, duking it out with the Digital Market Act and how the Epic Game Store is slowly crawling its way onto iOS. I can't believe it's gone this far, but maybe we'll see it on the U.S. store in the future as a result of the Digital Markets Act. Maybe that could be a basis for revisiting this. I don't know what legal basis they would have, but maybe, maybe. Tim really wants it. Tim is adamant about getting the Epic Game Store on iOS, and uh, we'll see if it happens. Check it out. The Verge has a story over there.